Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to my Bay State kitchen garden. Here's a bit of a vista of the half of the garden that has most of the vegetables in it. It's been a great year. A few failures, lots of successes, and lots of lessons learned. Let's start over here in this corner of the garden. This is a bit of an annex of the regular vegetable garden. We have perennials and shrubs mixed in with vegetables. Butternut squash growing in a bit of a fence to protect it from the woodchuck. I'm going to create a bigger fence very shortly for that. More butternut. Big potato patch. Blue potatoes in the middle and on the outside fingerlings. Planting of onions, kind of protecting them along the fence line from getting chewed on too much. Another patch of squash and Reliance grapes, the third year. I hope I'm going to really get some grapes this year. Leaving the annex, we're going to go over to the main kitchen garden. Oh, there are some potatoes here on the fringes too, I wanted to mention. More vegetables interspersed. There's a new bed here in the main garden. And it features the peak summer crops of squash, tomatoes, and peppers. This is a zucchini rampatica. I can't pronounce it, but it makes these awesome looking squashes. There's some young ones. I've grown it for the first time this year. I hope these will be tasty young as promised. They certainly are fun. Themes of the garden this year. Vertical gardening. Here's the squash tied up on an old bird feeder pole. And I'm also trying, trying to garden in sequence a lot. More sequence my crops so that I never have too much of one thing. So I'm planting in stages. Here we go with a Young patty pan squash, starting to have fruit. Hot peppers, Hungarian wax, jalapeno. Tomatoes I grew from seed this year. Cleomia I transplanted from some self-seeded patch. Tomatoes this year. My old favorite, Celebrity, which is a hybrid and very resistant. Sun Gold for a cherry tomato. For the extra sweet flavor of an heirloom, I grew Mortgage Lifter again, and I also grew Aroma Tomato. Here we are into the, are into the fenced beds, some lettuce that I'm letting go to seed, my first sunflower of the year, self-seeded, the strawberry patch, done for now, scene of the rescue of that chipmunk. Here there's Swiss chards, bright lights, basil, a moonflower, little marvel peas on a trellis, more vertical gardening. Behind that, mammoth melting snow peas, still very productive. Behind them, lettuce, carrots, sunflowers. Planters beyond. Still in the fenced beds. Fennel for the first year. Pepper's about to start bearing. Oh, there's a young one. There's my first one. Beans, excuse me. These are gonna be dragon tongue beans. Tomatoes behind them. Amaranth I grew from seed. Another moonflower with some height and verticality. Maasai beans. Delicata squash in this planter, bachelor's buttons, flowers that are good for beneficial insects, and Jerusalem artichokes above. Notice that I'm trying to put the tall plants, like the Jerusalem artichokes and the sunflowers, in the back of the garden where they won't block the sunlight. Solid doghouse bed features rhubarb, daylilies in the middle, Self-seeded nasturtiums, seascape strawberries, a 
self-seeded Cleomes, great for the hummingbirds. Some potatoes I snuck in there. First bed of the garden, first bed I ever built, has a zucchini that's been getting a lot of depredation from the cucumber beetles, but it's the only one they've really been going after, so I'm not too unhappy. Onions, pepper in a planter, nasturtium Alaska. And let's step back for this one. Look at that raspberry bed, heritage. Here we have some more vertical accents, more plantings of beans going up the blue tower. Rosefin fingerling potatoes, more beans, Gold Marie climbing up a tower. And this new bed has a whole bunch of tomato plants. They need to be pinched back. They're getting a little crazy. And a tower that's gonna be covered with morning glories. Here's my new bed of asparagus, their first year. I won't be able to eat them for a couple years. Some tall accents in the back, a tomato tied up to and growing up, the trunk of a juniper tree that I grew from a very small seedling that died this year. Still keeping it around. Made another trellis here, really solid. And that's gonna have lima beans up it. Purple passion asparagus, the first year. On the far reaches of the garden, I've also got a bunch of other planters. And I've also planted among the perennials. Uh, that's been largely successful, though there are places where rabbits and woodchucks have made their way into them. I'm trying to interplant a lot of flowers with the garden as well to create confusion for insect pests and food for insects that help us. So there you have it. Here's the rain barrel. Moving over to the very last bed. A planter with a tomato and nasturtiums. Big planting of Becky Sharp daylilies. Tomato, squash, pepper, onions. All growing here among the flowers and the Budlia bed. Bay State Kitchen Garden, July 3rd, 2012.